Welcome to the Design Knit video learning series. In this tutorial we'll be taking an integrated shape and using it to knit from screen. Using this interactive knitting section will enable us to follow along row by row both the shaping and the color changes and any other hand manipulations needed to create that garment piece. First we need to integrate our shape with a stitch pattern. I've laid out our shape with the stitch pattern. I've selected shape integrate and I'm going to be knitting the sleeve right is the one that's integrated OK. So this is now it's going to remember this placing. Once you've integrated this into the stitch pattern, the next thing to do is to say transfer integrated download. This is for brother and passive knitting machines. And this will send it to the knitting machine. I'm, I'm using the brother KH 940. If you're using the silver reed knitting machines, the design is send it over as an integrated download in the interactive knitting section itself. I'm going to cancel out of this because I'm not connected. Once we've finished this integrated download, then we proceed directly into interactive knitting. When I go to interactive knitting section, I'm going to knit this child's top as a shape file. OK. I'm going to knit the sleeve right. That's OK. And I'm going to knit it integrated with the stitch pattern. OK. It's telling me there's a difficult color change warning at row one. This is OK. The color change is a fair aisle, and it's only knitting one color in feeder A and no colors in feeder B. So I've knit here with the ready light, cast on left needle 41, right needle 41. And this is at the current tensions. If I change the tensions, these instructions and all of the instructions for the increases for this sleeve will automatically change for you for that particular gauge. Finish with a weld or ribbing with the carriage at the left. Set the pattern row on the knitting machine to 1. Using the KC setting, knit the pre-select row from left to right. Set the row counter to 0 and then select OK. So I've knit the ribbing. I'm not connected to the knitting machine, so I'm going to cancel this. I've knit the ribbing in this navy blue. I'm sitting here ready to knit my knitting for the garment part of the piece. I'm going to go up one row, and it's saying I have one row until I need to think about doing something. My row counter should say one because I've knit from here to here. I have stitch pattern here, number two. Row 2 of the stitch pattern is pre-selected for the next row. I'm going to go up another row, and now it's telling me I need to change this blue into a purple, and I need to add in the blue for the feeder B. I'm going to go up another row, and it's telling me I have five rows until I need to worry about any changes. And I'm in this section right here. You can see this is the purple and the blue. And I'm going to go up the five rows. And it's telling me here, increase one stitch at the right, increase one stitch at the left. I did not have to worry about color changes. It's telling me all of these things automatically for me as I knit. Isn't this easy? Knit up five more rows, it says. And now it's telling me, put the navy in feeder A and take the feeder B yarn out of feeder B. Knit another row, one more row. And now it's telling me increase one stitch at the right, increase one stitch at the left. And you can see the two colors that are going to be in feeder A and feeder B here. Let's knit up a little bit more. And here's our, my increases. Knit up a little bit more. Here's some more increases. Now it's telling me here I have to change into my navy, take the yarn out of feeder B. The yarn that goes into feeder A is navy. Knit up a little bit more. It's telling me to change the two colors again to mauve and lime. And you can see here that we've swapped out the maroon and the blue, and we've now we're going to be knitting in another two colors in the mauve and the lime. Let's knit all the way up to the top. And now we're done with this section. Cast off the remainder, and this is the end of the piece. And we can cast this off either by binding it off, or we can take it off on waist yarn, or we can take it off on a garter bar. So we've knit all of this piece. It's followed all the instructions from the color changes that are complicated in this particular piece. And 
the color and, and the shaping information as well. Thank you.